You are a mover, you are a doer. If you could make America perfect, how would you do it? Well, I think that America is a country that has tremendous, tremendous potential. I think that much like the mind, I think that America is using very, very little of its potential. I feel that this country with the proper leadership can go on to become what it once was. And I hope and certainly hope that it does go on to be what it, uh, what it should be. What should it be? Well, it should be a it should really be a country that gets the respect of other countries. Today, is respect the most important thing in your opinion? Well, respect can lead to other things. When you get the respect of the other countries, then the other countries tend to do a little bit as you do, and you can create the right attitudes. The the Iranian situation is a case in point. That they hold our hostages is just absolutely and totally ridiculous that this country sits back and allows a country such as Iran to hold our hostages, to my way of thinking, is a horror. And I don't think they'd do it with other countries. I honestly don't think they'd do it with other countries. Obviously, you're advocating that we should have gone in there with troops, et cetera, and brought our boys out. I absolutely out. feel that, yes. I don't think there's any question, and there's no question in my mind. I think right now would be an oil-rich na nation, and I believe that we should have done it, and I'm very disappointed that we didn't do it, and I don't think anybody would have held us in abeyance. I don't think anybody would have been angry with us, and we had every right to do it at the time. I think we've lost the opportunity. For some people, the ultimate goal in life uh, has been becoming the President of the United States. Would you like to be the President of the United States? I really don't believe I would, Rona, but I would like to see somebody as the President who could do the job, and there are very capable people in this country. Most people who are capable are not running for office. It, most men are frightened of politics today. It is a shame, isn't it? Yes. It is a shame. The most capable people are not necessarily running for political office, and that is a very sad commentary on the country. They had major corporations and they had this and that, but they are not running for political office. Why wouldn't someone like yourself run for political office? You have all the money that you possibly need. You've accomplished a great deal, even though you are only 34. I know there's a lot of things that you possibly can do in the years ahead. Why wouldn't you dedicate yourself to public service? Because I think it's a very mean life. I, I would love and I would, I would dedicate my life to this country, but I see it as being a mean life. And I also see it as somebody with strong views and somebody with the kind of views that are maybe a little bit unpopular, which may be right, but may be unpopular, wouldn't necessarily have a chance of getting elected against somebody with no great brain but a big smile. And that's a sad commentary for the political process. Television, in a strange way, has ruined that process, hasn't it? It's hurt the process very much. I mean, the Abraham Lincolns of the world, Abraham Lincoln would probably not be electable today because of television. He was not a handsome man, and he did not smile at all. He would not be considered to be a prime candidate for the presidency. And that's a shame, isn't it? But if all the men are like you, then when are we going to get somebody who might be good? I don't know. I hope it's around the corner, but I don't know. I really don't know. What I would like to be involved in is trying to help choose somebody or working with a group of people whereby they put up a candidate who would be acceptable to be a presidential, you know, uh, to, to be the president. The country, if we had the one man, and it's really not that big a situation. You know, people say, well, what could anybody do as president? The one man could turn this country around. The one proper president could turn this country around. I firmly believe that. If you lost your fortune today, what would you do tomorrow? Maybe I'd run for president. I don't know. 